continuing lesson three, the understanding um, of um, addition of integers, um, we're going to work with a partner, you and me, we're partners, to create a horizontal number line model to represent the following expressions. Okay, so remember, whatever our first number is here, that is where um, we draw our first vector. Okay, so I'm going to say start from zero. Okay, so here's zero, and I'm going to draw my vector. Now remember, if we want, if we're going from zero to negative five, we can do this hops or bump method, but we need to make sure that over top of it, okay, we draw the arrow. Okay, maybe I shouldn't make that blue just because it'll probably bother me. Not a big deal. Try that again. Okay, so now we start from zero and we get to negative five. Okay, now look at our three right here. All right, our three, we take the absolute value of our second term here, and that tells us that we're gonna move three units. And because it's positive, it means we're gonna use th move three units right. Okay, so from here I can go over one, two, three. Draw my vector over top. Sorry, with the arrows there. Okay, and we see that we end up at negative two. We answer the question being asked, what is the sum? Okay, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. We can see that we're our answer from five is three units away, and it's three units to the right. So it'd be on the horizontal number line is to the right. Vertical number line would be above. Okay. All right, let's look at a few more examples. Okay. So we're going to go from zero to negative six. You don't need to do the bump method. Okay, you can just do the vector method. And then from here, we're going to take this negative two and we're going to take the absolute value of negative two. And that means we're going to move two units negative left. So I'm at negative six. I'm going to go two units to the left. Okay, so that one always gets people because they want to somehow make it a four, think they have to go in different directions. But if you go down negative six on the number line and then you go down two more, you're at negative eight. Okay, one more. Hopefully you're kind of getting the swing of things here. Um, our seven here means we're going to start from zero and we're going to go to seven. And then we take our negative eight here, and what does that tell us to do? It means we go eight units, because that's the absolute value, so we're traveling eight units, and since it's negative, we're going eight units left. So from the seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we end up being at negative one. Ooh, sorry, bad arrow, but you get the idea, okay? All right, so that is how we're we're still working on understanding. We're still working on adding integers, but we're doing it on a number line, but with more understanding of what this second number is telling us to do. All right, so let's write an equation. Now, again, my rules for writing an equation. Got to have some variables or a variable, some numbers, and an equal sign. Got to have the equal sign. So it says write an equation and using the number line, create an arrow diagram. We're just going to be doing what we're doing with vectors, given the following information. So we have the sum. Remember, sum means we're going to add 6 and, that's where the plus side comes. So 6 and a number is 15 units to the left of 6 on the number line. Okay, so 6 and a number that is 15 units to the left of 6. Okay, 15 units to the left. If it's 15 units to the left, that's going to be a negative 15, isn't it? So I'm going to add six 
plus a negative 15, and that's going to give me my sum, my solution, my answer, my result. Don't know what it is, so I'm calling it x. So on our number line, using our air diagrams or our vectors, I'm going to start at 0 and I'm going to go to 6. Okay. All right, now from there, I am going to take a negative 15 here. That means I'm moving 15 units, but I'm going to go to the left because it's negative. So from here, I'm going to just kind of maybe count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can see back to 0. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then I'm going to take my line here and go over the top. Okay, and I can see that I'm going to end up right here at negative 9. Okay, 15 units to the left, that's what we've been working on. Um, what direction? The second number is going to tell us what, how many units we're moving and in what direction we're moving, what direction we're moving in.